Aries, I got messages for you. Hey, Aries, welcome to my channel. Thank y'all for the likes, the shares, comments, subscribes. Thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. <clears throat> Aries, uh, somebody here that you can have a love hate relationship with. Oof. It could be a fake baby being. Somebody's in their feelings about some type of fake pregnancy news here. Okay. Maybe somebody must have said that they were pregnant here, but this is fake news, the pregnancy or DNA. So somebody faking like they're pregnant. Okay. I'm just going to say that. Aries. There could be whoever this is. They're trying to see when's the right time to come and travel towards you as well. There could be people, a lot of people doing magic here, Aries. Like, God damn. So, evidence was found out about somebody trying to bribe you. Or this could be people here that was collaborating here to cause you some type of pain somehow. Or someone had an idea to uh, try to cause you some type of um, natural disasters or some shit like that. There was people here grouping up together here, doing magic, getting readings done on you here. They were traveling to our places, um, doing like little ceremonies and rituals and shit like that. Because somebody in this energy feels like it's not over. Like they feel like y'all still have unfinished business. Whoever this is. So let's tap in, Aries. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Protect me as I go and channel the messages for my Aries. Protect me as I go in. Any and all negative energy sent to me shall be returned to sender. Yeah, I'm got the Page of Swords. Okay, and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like there's individuals watching what you say, or somebody like really, really like trying to look into you here to see if your guard up. I'm getting idiots. You are Queen of Swords energy, 222 on the clock. You're very much balanced. You're using your discernment. You're not no stupid motherfucker, okay? There's people here that's watching you, okay? A lot of them. And I'm getting, yeah. We got the healing here. Okay, so the healing, it did come out in reverse. So I feel like somebody wants to come and heal some type of wounds here with you. I feel like you ain't trying to heal shit with no one or... I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Something isn't healed yet, Aries. Maybe you haven't healed your wounds yet. And I'm speaking. When I say that, I, I'm, I'm talking to myself too. Please know that. I'm not perfect at all. Okay? So, yeah, mending, progress, improving wounds. So, something, some type of situation has not been healed. Maybe you don't want to heal it or I don't know, okay? You don't want to heal something with someone here that feels like they have unfinished business with you. Yeah, whoever this is, they feel like it's not over, back and forth. This person could have been in and out of your life here because I did see the Nine of Wands over there. But this person has just, they just come with too much baggage here. I feel like to you, it's not worth healing. Yeah, they want to date you, court you. Or this this could be what y'all doing, okay? This person could be trying to muster up the courage to come in and ask you out on a date, but there's still a third party here. Um, They may be, like, stressed out about coming to tell you some type of truth. So I'm getting, like, when this person, okay, whoever this is that you're dealing with, it's like every time they think about coming to tell you the truth, they kind of have, like, a panic attack or something like that, okay? They're scared as to like what you're going to say, but they feel like they have unfinished business with you. Okay. <clears throat> they are like terrified of what you would say or what you would think or, or whatever. So I'm getting this individual could be getting like a lot of readings on you. Okay. They could be. Yeah. We got a third party to see if you're with a third party or if you're, you're cheating. For some of you, they may want to tell you the truth about this mysteries here, okay? That they've been dating. Mm -hmm. We got new love, okay? 
And then we got the truth here on the bottom of the deck. This truth could cause some type of anxiety here. I'm going to just use these cards because... Hold on, Aries. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Give me healing in reverse. Damn, okay. Yeah, eight of cups. Wow, I feel like you're just like, no, I'm not healing nothing. I eight of cups, you. And that's just what it is. Eight of cups, bye. Ain't no healing, ain't no progress, ain't no mending, ain't no none of that. You can be dealing with a Pisces. Even though they feel like they have unfinished business or they feel like it's whatever situation they're in is not healing. So here I come. I want to come back because you're my wish fulfillment here. You're the one that I dreamed of or something. What's next? For some of you, this person wants to put you back into a third party. We got the devil with the five of swords. Aquarius Capricorn energy here. Somebody's like addicted, obsessed with like <sighs> hating you. That's what I'm getting. Wherever this is, they're obsessed with it. Okay. It's like whenever you meet someone. All right, let me just keep going. We got the Ace of Swords, yeah. What's what's this third party now? Yeah, we got the Seven of Pentacles. Give me the new love. Four of Wands. I feel like you're about to meet somebody new. This person that you meet new, you're going to marry this person. This whoever I, I'm going to get back around to this devil with the Five of Swords. Someone has like this type of contract to the point where everywhere you go, whoever you date, whoever you meet up with, they're going to try to like come in between that here with the devil. They're obsessed with doing this. Somebody's obsessed with trying to sabotage your dating life. They don't want you meeting up with no one, dating no one. They don't want you hook, hooking up with no one at all. Like not hooking up like as in like just like a one night stand. I feel like there's an the energy here that just keeps getting reading on you to see if you're dating or to see if you're in a third party or they're plotting and planning like i don't know what's, what's the eight of cups yeah the ten of swords yeah somebody's like trying to curse your dating life your love life to cause you to always be in your head just feeling like a victim and the matters of love i'm getting you don't Whoever this person is that you're going to be meeting, this is someone that you have a true soul connection with. Y'all know I don't like the word twin, but you know, maybe your real twin, your four of wands. This is your four of wands, okay? This is your person. And I think and, and I'm I'm guessing whoever this is in this devil five of swords energy. It's like this person wants to fight your lover. Like, say, like if you do like get somebody, Aries. And you meet up with this person. This person will want to fight your lover. To... <laughs> that is not funny. Whoever this energy. <laughs> they want to fight your lover. Okay. They like, nah, you got me fucked up. You my person. Like this. My bad, Aries. The camera cut off. But like I was saying, this is the type of energy. Like if you meet someone. They would want to fight your lover or they would try to plan and plot how they could discriminate. For some of you, this person in this devil energy to been right in your back the whole fucking time. That I don't know. Somebody's like obsessed with like hating you or they're obsessed like with your dating life. Who you talking to? Like, man, I just got to find out who Aries is talking to so I can sabotage it. Yes. Yeah, so I can curse your love life and have you always stuck in your head with the eight of swords. Somebody's a weird ass bitch. I feel like you already have the truth. Okay, you already got clarity and truth that whoever this is, this shit is just not working. At the at the end of the day, you're still going to get new love. You're still going to have someone that's going to love the fuck out of you deeply, wholeheartedly. Just period. That's just what it is. And whoever this little miserable bitch is that keep doing these hexes and curses and spells, this shit is going right back on them. Yep. 
Page of Swords, the Sun, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. So what's the Eight of Cups? Somebody could also be walking away from a situation that's not going nowhere. There's no improving. There's no progress. There's no mending here. Right to another situation that they have unfinished business in. What's the Eight of Cups? The Eight of Cups is the Two of Pentacles. Yep. I feel like you could be, whoever this is, you could be trying to make up your mind if you should leave this situation here. All right. With the Two of Pentacles. So like, yeah, juggling priorities, finances, money, or juggling people. Shit. Or switching your money from one bank account to the next. What's the Eight of Cups, Two of Pentacles? I feel like a situation is not healing. There's no work being done here. Or somebody's just not trying to do the work on themselves. They're too undecided. They can't make up their mind. They're unstable here. Someone is unstable mentally, okay? Within their emotions, they have unstable emotions. When their money, their money is unstable too here as well. What's the two of pentacles, eight of cups? So this person needs to get balance here, especially within their emotions. I keep seeing that sun card, so something is going to be exposed. Yeah, we got the magician. Yeah, because something is just not working. This person can't manifest. They have no power to control anything. This is the... I feel like this is all from the universe. Since whoever this is in this energy that is not healing, Aries, I don't know if this is you or, or whoever... Whoever this is in this energy that's not trying to heal or they're not trying to make no progress in this healing energy, they're not able to manifest anything with the magician, okay? The magician is in reverse. Any and all spell work, whatever this is, they thought that they were managing, okay? It's just not working. Somebody has been trying to manifest. They've been rubbing them same two pennies together to try to manif manifest something grandiose here. But until whoever this is do the healing work, they're not going to get this wish here with you at all whatsoever. So they could be low on confidence, okay? Just not feeling like they have the gift of gap or somebody's really going through like an ego death here because, I don't know, it's like somebody's like humbling themselves, that's what I'm getting. Somebody's like really, really humbling themselves right now because they thought they had some type of power over you. I'm getting they don't. Yeah. What's the magician in reverse? Virgo, Gemini energy. Yeah, we got the justice. I feel like the justice. That's somebody's karma. It's to humble themselves. We got the justice coming out right here. They like, nah. We got the temperance here as well. But I picked justice first. So justice to earth angels or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to take it though. You can be dealing with the Libra. Okay. But I feel like that's justice going in your favor. Somebody does not have any power Okay, they can't control shit. Somebody powers or their gifts has been taken away from them. I'm getting, and that's that's karmic justice here going in your favor here. Yeah, because we see the truth. What's the justice? The magician in reverse. Yeah, we got the hangman. Detached. Somebody powers has been released, taken, and I feel like. This is like an individual trying to control some type of outcome here with the two of pentacles. They're trying to like manage something that they have no power over at all. It's already been released. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody's power, somebody sacrificed their own gifts and their powers here because they wanted to keep doing shit to you. What's the nine of cups? So they sacrificed themselves. They sacrificed their gifts, their powers here. All because they wanted to be a part of this damn crowd. Or I look at the hangman too can speak about somebody that was a part of the crowd when it came to trying to do spell work on you, Aries. We got the ace of wands. What's the nine of cups? You know what? No, nah, give me more of the hangman in reverse. Give me the hangman in reverse. I'm trying three of pentacles. Yep. Yeah. For some, it was it was three people that was working together here. Unbeknownst to you, but I'm getting you. These are three unhealed people. 
they were meeting up together here um, behind the scenes. And I'm getting these individuals hung themselves. What's the three of pentacles in the um, hangman? Yep, the empress. For some of you, this, these people are trying to sacrifice you. What's the, what's the empress? Yeah, the seven of swords. This could have been like a mother figure that they were working together with here. But I feel like they got caught. Yeah, because the Seven of Swords ran right, runs right into the, the Empress. I feel like you caught somebody red-handed trying to do some shit. Trying to slow you down. They thought they were very, like, methodical, I guess. What's the Seven of Swords? Could be done with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Taurus. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. They paid for this. So you caught somebody red-handed red -handed or, like, spiritually. You could have spiritually caught someone trying to like run off with your shit or steal something of yours or whatever. Okay. But I feel like if somebody was trying to run off with your gifts, your natural God given gifts, I feel like they lose theirs and you gain their gifts. What's the nine of cups? That's how, that's how justice works. What's the nine of cups? Whoever this is, they're not powerful enough. The magician is in reverse. This could talk about somebody being narcissistic too. They're low on confidence. And the upright is usually someone that can manifest, okay? This person can't manifest shit. Either they were trying to manifest off your energy, they can't. You're the empress. I feel like you're still getting supported. People still like fuck with you. Things are still balanced for you. And this is like people that's trying to run off with your shit. Give me the seven of swords, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Now they want to come in and rush in and attack you. This could be a Gemini. Because they can't manifest no more. What's this Knight of Swords, man? Yeah, Aries energy. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is. <sighs> What's the Seven of Swords? Knight of Swords. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you don't give a fuck. I feel like you're going to ignore this person. It's like, look how they, they coming in fast and you in the nine of pentacles. you like, hmm. Okay. This person is still unhealed. I feel like somebody wanted you to attack them, but you didn't. You don't care. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody wanted you to attack them. Like, nah, let me go in and, and, and take, let me take your shit. But let me, um, I'm going to take you, I'm going to take what's yours, Aries. Or I'm going to do something sneaky here. Or I'm going to do something conniving here. And, and then I want to see if you're going to attack me. But you didn't. You went a nine of pentacles. You don't give a fuck about nothing. You know justice works in your favor, period. It's like you're dealing with a whole bunch of unhealed motherfuckers. Or these unhealed motherfuckers just want your energy. Empress, Nine of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Cups? I'm trying to... Ace of Cups. Ain't no more love there. I feel like you could be telling this individual now the love that... Okay, so maybe I'm your wish, but you're not my wish. I feel like you love yourself too much. Or you're just going to have to let this person down like you're not my new love. Or it's just not... No. Somebody took too long. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah, they somebody made you wait too long. Then they will watch you at a distance because they so highly fucking attracted to you. But they still took too long. But they feel like it's unfinished business with you. Wait a minute. So let me get this straight. You're going to watch me at a distance. Be fine as fuck. Make good business decisions. Do what you need to do, Queen of Wands. Okay? This person wants to come in. And wait for your ships to come in, okay? With the three of wands, this person don't think that you know that you know you have good things coming towards you. So they think they, so this is why this person gets readings on you because they like, oh, Aries don't know about all the good shit coming towards them, but I know. They don't know their future or their fate, but I know. So this is why I have unfinished business with them. I'm going to wait till they get everything, then I'm going to come in slowly. Slow approach. Yep, behind the scenes. They may never know. What's the ace of cut? But I, I'm getting, you don't even love this person anymore. 
with the Ace of Cups, you lost or you fell out of love with this individual. This person is not even, you're not looking at this individual like they are, an ideal match for you. What's the nine of cups, ace of cups in reverse? That's what I'm getting. You're not even looking at this person as an ideal match. Like, just not. Ace of cups in Oh, yeah. We got the six of swords, but here they come. Yep. Here they come. And they notice. Six of swords in reverse, but here they come. Coming right back to you, Aries. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, they're coming right back to you, confused as fuck, still in page energy here. But they want to appear to you like they're the king of pentacles. All right. This could this person is like resisting some type of change here as well. They may have a lot of baggage. They're still gonna come in. They're gonna come in emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature, and all that shit. What's the six of swords in reverse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, King of Swords. I'm tell I'm trying to tell you. King of Swords, Emperor Energy. Oh, God. There could be trouble coming out here about this King of Swords, Emperor Energy. This person's still going to come here like not budging or being very cold. Okay, they're going to be acting aloof. Like they don't know what's going on. Like that's what I'm just getting like with this energy here. They're still going to be like in this confused, like, I don't know, still having a lot of options for some of you. They may want to come in and have you as another option, like with the seven of cups, or they want to try to confuse you or put you in some type of like, or they just smoke screens or, or smoke and mirrors or something like that. They want to make you, make you fall asleep. And when, when I say that, this person wants to put you back to sleep. So it's like, they want you to stray off away from your spiritual journey and I, it's like they're coming in a very serious energy that's how you could be able to tell that this person is full of shit because if they're coming in too serious hold on wait a minute something up i feel like you already know they they too serious the King of Swords with the Emperor is somebody that's too fucking serious, bruh. They are too serious. All right? It's like they're putting up a facade. Like, I got to make it seem like I'm a real divine masculine. Or maybe this person is coming to tell you some truth here. All right? But with the Six of Swords in reverse, this tells me that this could be trouble coming out about this person. Maybe they could come and tell you about all the troubles that they have going on but i don't like that because don't be coming to dump this person could be coming to dump their baggage onto you you see what i'm saying what's this king of swords and the emperor because they know that you're finna find somebody new and they're possibly going to be a third party or they are a third party what's the king of swords the emperor Ace of Wands. I'm trying to tell you. Ace of Wands and a Ten of Cups. They got a baby on the way. And it's a boy. So this is why they're coming in cold. So that way you won't be able to see that they have a child on the way. This is why this person could have been holding back or, you know what I mean? Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yep. For some of you, they have another child with someone that they share a family with. Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, and then we got the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is. Yeah, we got 10, 10. They possibly have a business here. Or this person, they could feel like you the one. Or they could want some type of stability here. Or a long-term commitment with you. But I feel like this individual is already... You coming out as the Nine of Pentacles. This person... You could be a single... Imp you could be an empress that's single. Okay. You could be. But I just feel like this person is not trying to do the healing work. So they're coming up as a fake emperor to me. It's just... It's giving fake emperor. Okay. 
or it could be for my for my um high vibrational Aries. You could be dealing with a fake empress that could be sneaky, a liar, a liar. Okay. That's what it seemed like. That's what I'm feeling. Not that's what it seemed like. That's how I'm feeling. What's the emperor and the king of swords? Yeah, we got the page of cups, baby. Yeah. This person is still in page energy. They possibly want to tell you that they want to have a child with you or whatever, but I'm getting, where's the commitment? And then cut you off. Yeah, two of swords. So you won't move on and go and date. This person is obsessed with you going to move on, date someone else here. I'm getting you off. They're watching you. Page of swords. Damn, that's what I'm getting. This person to see if you're going to be in a high level commitment here with your high level soulmate. So they're trying to end that shit for you. Yeah, we got the death, the two of cups. They don't want you with nobody else. The death, the two of cups. Nope, you cannot be with nobody else. You got to wait on me. You got to be with me. Like somebody's re really like obsessive, Aries. What's this double five of swords, man? They're obsessed with your dating life. They feel like you're hooking up with people. You're you're being courted. You're And they hate this shit. What's the five of swords, the devil? I feel like... This is not even your person or like you're not with this person. I'm not seeing no exchange of emotion, no exchange of nothing here. What's the five of swords and the devil? Yeah, we got the king of pentacles. Okay. So there's a Taurus. What's this what's this king of pentacles, man? Five of swords and the devil. Man. four of cups and a son so you're uninterested you don't want no children by this person okay or you already know the truth and you're just you're you there's no secret here that you that this person missed the opportunity with you i'm seeing the king of pentacles the king the king of swords and the emperor like god damn i say yeah yeah what's the force what's the four of cups the sun i feel like um what's the four of cups to the ten of cups yeah you rejecting this person because you know they have a family or you know that this person is married it ain't no secret the son is out the son with the ten of cups you're rejecting this person you know they're married you know they possibly have a child here but they don't want you dating nobody else this person has like this type of hole they feel like they have this type of hole where they can go and make babies and but you're supposed to be in this nine of pentacles energy always like waiting for me or being single until the day you die who the fuck does this person think they are but then you got to come and be sweet loving loyal and kind of all that shit ended it's over with what's the four of cups ten of cups you're rejecting this person's offer. You know the truth about this person. You know they, they're married or they have somebody somewhere else that they're committed to, but they hate the fact that you're going to date someone and, and, and have someone to court you. So it's like they're planning on a way to put you back in another third party situation here. So this is why they could be getting readings too. Another re another reason why they could be getting readings is to find out like how they can put you back in a, another third party situation. What what's the four of cups? I'm I'm not the really what's the four of cups, man? Nine of Cups in reverse. Seven of Wands. This person wants to come and love bomb you. And I feel like you're not interested. They want to come and love bomb you. They want to have one night stands. They just want to fuck. That's what, that's all this is. Is this person wanted to come in for one night of passion or one night of love making? You know what I mean? And get you pregnant hopefully that you will get pregnant out, out of this one night stand or whatever so that way you will always be connected to him with the, or or him or whoever so that way you will always be connected to them here with this double card yep this person has an obsession with trying to 
I feel like you're going to reject this love offer. What's the seven of pentacles? Yep, the world. I feel like they're waiting on something and you already completed a cycle. So whoever this is, they're just going to be waiting. Yep. And they get <laughs> five of wands. They're going to they're gonna continue to be waiting here. Yep. What's the seven of pentacles, the, the world? Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Yeah, the, the hermit. Okay, so they're investigating. They're they're trying to research research to see if a cycle is really over, closed, or, or whatever. And then it's like they get conflicted when they find out that the cycle is closed. Yeah, it's done with. What's this? Or this could be a Virgo. What's the world with the uh, hermit? Yeah, we got the three of swords. They're heartbroken and they're stressed. A cycle is closed. I feel like you don't want to be in no fucking third party relationships. Who wants to? Who wants to be with someone that got all these different baby mamas or they got all these little relationships going on from this person? And then like when you get with them because they don't want to come in and confess the truth. When you get with them, you hear all types of secrets. People call it, you know, um, back in, uh, Back in 2020, uh, one, you know, we had like that one night stand, you know, I, I got pregnant and, um, I need you to take a DNA test and you finding out all these kids like, bro, who want to go through that? Nine of swords, nine of wands, the ace of wands, man, spirit has a way of communicating with me. Okay. They're feeling guilty. This person is being talked about because they passed around here with the Knight of Wands. Ace of Wands. Making babies and not even taking care of them. For so some of you, they could have been making babies off of one night stands and then they had a nerve to come back to you talking about y'all got unfinished business. What is this? This person could be stressed the hell out. Because they have so many burdens here. Like, they, they stress. They overworking themselves. They're trying to push through this ending here, even though they heard about it. Okay? They're trying to go in and, and do the, the soul searching. But I'm getting, the cycle is it's over. It's done with. Finito. What's the three of swords? You could be dealing with the, yeah, and that's divine. Yeah. Divine timing. It's done. The tempers card came right out. This is all from the divine. The, the divine gave this person so many chances. They gave this person enough time. That, you know, the tempers talks about time. It gave this person enough time. Not everything has been balanced accordingly here. For some of you, they're hoping that you will forgive them or you will heal or mend the situation here. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, yep. Give me the Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands. What's the King of Wands? Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this King of Wands is, they could be taking action towards you. This may be a Sagittarius or a Leo. What's this King of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles? Uh, the Nine of Wands. Did this come out? What this came out in? In the same position over here. Okay, so this person, this could be somebody in your family or I don't know. Who is this Leo or this Sagittarius that's trying to come towards you here for the Ten of Pentacles? This could be somebody in your family. Mm, they're trying to take action to get in some type of... Somebody may want to... Want to um, they see a future with you. They see longevity with you. Whoever this is, they do. But I feel like you're blocking this person. Yeah. You're standing your ground against your person or this person. Or you may have to stand your ground against this king of wands that wants to come towards you. I'm getting because they see you in a ten of pentacles. That's what I'm getting. Okay. This video may be. Hold on, man. Come on now, Aries. Don't do me like that. What's this, what's this ten of pentacles? The king of wands. We got the fool, yeah. Somebody thinks that you're a fool. 
the only reason why this person wants to take action and come towards you is because you're building a ten of pentacles. For some of you, you building that shit on your own. Okay? So they think that you're going to dive in with them on this new beginning. What's the four of wands? Four of wands, please. For some of you, you're meeting somebody new. And this person that you do meet new, you're going to be celebrating with this person. I feel like, yeah, we got the Ten of Cups. Yep. What's the Four of Wands? And you're going to be married. This new love. This King of Cups, the Moon, and the Will of Fortune. That's too many. I feel like your guys has a control over that. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So y'all are going to build a foundation. Whoever you meet here y'all gonna pretty much be focused on each other all right it's basically kind of like um y'all gonna heal parts of each other that you haven't healed so it's like while you working on yourself aries this person is working on themselves and i'm getting the parts of you that have been like unhealed, this person is going to heal that and you're going to do the same. So like scratch my back, I scratch your back. All right. Just use your discernment though. Okay. Yeah. Honest compatibility. All right. Somebody wants to be someone you can trust or they're trying to plan Somebody's trying to organize a plan to get you to trust them. They feel like they're triumphing this, but they're stressed out. They don't know how they'll get you to trust them here. This person is under a lot of pressure. They feel like if they come in and tell you like, oh, I dropped the third parties. You can trust me here, Aries. Yeah, justice. I feel like, yeah, that justice card been coming out in damn near all the readings. I'm not going to flirt with them no more. I'm not going to, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to stop the third parties. That's what they're saying. Whoever this is. Yeah. I'm not getting nothing from them anymore here. I'm not gaining no type of profit from them. But we seen what the fuck was going on in the, in the reading before. Yeah, like I said, we seen what the fuck was going on. They trying to come in and, and steal from you. They trying to cause you some type of unfairness. So somebody just like... The only reason why they're coming in is to play some type of mind games here. This person wants you to be homeless. They want you to be sick, left out in the cold. They're coming in, making it seem like, oh, I'm not getting nothing from nobody. Aries, mm -mm, I ain't profiting off of nobody here, but they still, they're lying. You see how justice comes in and intervene and balance the whole fucking reading out? Yeah, because somebody need to stop fucking playing with you, okay? You don't, you don't have boo-boo to fool. They've been warned by justice or by karmic law to stop. Stop trying to come and fuck with Aries. Stop trying to cause Aries unfairness. Stop trying Stop trying to do that. Stop. Okay? This person could be like um, not taking heed here to the warnings as well. Like with the donation, pray, and religion in reverse, this person could be non-religious or they're just not trying to conform. They want to do what they want to do. So... Yeah, they feel like they don't owe you an apology at all whatsoever. I don't owe you no apology. I don't need your forgiveness or whatever. Okay, that's why they're coming in. Yeah, it's over. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's over. Somebody's like walking right into an ending for themselves because they want to be stubborn here by trying to overload you and bully you here. Yeah, because they thought that they was going to gain something here, but now they're going through an ego death. Now they're going to be the one that needs help. I'm trying to tell you. Yep. Flooded with darkness. Being persecuted. This person is suffering. Yep. So they daydreaming about readings. Somebody is daydreaming here about some type of reading or whatever this reading is. A reading was... A, somebody gave this individual a reading, but this was all an illusion. Now, this person could be thinking about what a reading said. <laughs> what this reading say? What daydream says? <laughs> oh, a curse. So this individual possibly got a reading and it said that you cursed them. Or somebody thinks that this curse is going to work. 
that this was all an illusion. They could have traveled far here to perform some type of ceremony on you. But they got themselves stuck. Oh. Yeah, now they're all in their head because they're co conflicted here. That's what happens when you be fucking around and you fuck around and find out. Now they want to send you a love message. But I feel like your guard up. you like, nope. Don't be coming back to me in that five of pentacles, sick ass energy here, mentally, physically, all the elites. Yeah, we got round and around. You learned this lesson already, Aries. Cycles, triggers, learned lessons here. This is the same shit, different day. You ain't got time for none of that. Yep. Because y'all like y'all got not gonna do nothing but bump their uh bump heads. There's no, yeah, turning your back. Yep. Bye. You turning your back. Pop the question. True colors. So this person may want to propose to you, but you have already seen their true colors. So you're closing out a cycle with your twin, who's a thug. Yeah, this is a karmic tie. Or this person could have a karmic tie. Something about the police as well could be watching someone. Yep, not happy. This person isn't happy that you're moving on, letting go, loving you, you're free. Because this person has backstabbed you for the last time. So now they're trying to get you to fall into a trap. This is the way that they can keep you with them. This person could be daydreaming about a reading or some type of magic. They think that's going to work. It's not because they're karma. Drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown. Yep. Because you rejected them. Now they could bask in their karma. What's next? Yeah, secluded. Separation reflecting. Now they're trying to do soul searching here. Yeah, because you're moving on for real, for real. All right. Or they are or somebody's moving on from a psycho ex that's crazy, obsessed and won't let go. Yeah, you're living in the moment. OK, and then we have a wish. What's this wish? Somebody wish ooh, that they can cope with this ending so they could be like abusing alcohol, substance abuse, or they wish that this love spell worked and I'm getting it didn't. What's next? Yeah, you learned your lesson. This was karmic here. For some of you, somebody's married to a karmic that could be could have broke their heart. Aries, give me one card, a couple cards. <sighs> yeah, they need your healing energy. Needing emotional or physical healing, chakra cleansing, medical concerns. For some of you, this person has medical concerns that they're brushing under the rug. They're not trying to get checked out this could be any type of like um medical concerns mentally physically anything okay wounds that need healing bandages in a relationship okay and then we have a conversation they may be calling you some this could be a text message or a call coming from this person saying that they need some type of support or emotional support aries but i don't i don't know man yeah your twin your bitch ass twin. Okay? This person knows that you love yourself. This soldier, they could be going through some type of misfortune right now. This person sees you in the nine of pentacles and you're building the ten of pentacles. So they're planning to take action. I feel like this individual may want to tell you their side of the story, but just use your discernment. It seems like you are with the queen of swords. For some of you, they could be telling you that they have no place to go. They homeless or whatever. Okay? They done got kicked out and they need to crash. That's your shit. Yep, and they're desperate for money. This person is desperate for money. So they're going to do whatever they got to do to get whatever. But we seen that robbery card, Aries. Don't play. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, Aries. Don't play with it. Yeah, we got that gift. What's this gift? Equal give and take. Cheerfulness here. Hmm. I don't trust it. They still think you young and naive, Aries, or you just, they don't think that. I don't know why people want to test you. Don't know, Aries, but I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully, you found some messages in here. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Bye, Aries, because I'm going to have to edit. My camera had cut off. Bye, y'all. Love you.